The Lisbon Lions have topped a two-day poll to find the greatest football team of all time. And German side Schalke have confirmed they are not signing Manchester City defender Keo Itakura on a permanent basis, a potential boost for Celtic. The Hoops are keen to sign the Japan international in the coming months. Celtic keeper Rory Mardi set for EPL move as Leeds head chase for the teenage prospect. The 16-year-old is the latest Lennox Town kid to be targeted with Man City and Tottenham also in the hunt. Back to the Itakura story, at 25 years of age, he has starred for Schalke on loan during the 21-22 campaign. The Manchester City star has played 32 times for the German side during the last 12 months, helping them win Bundesliga 2 and return to the top tier. He is now set to return to Manchester City where he has a contract until the summer of 2023. Schalke do have a permanent clause in his loan deal. However, on Tuesday afternoon, the German side have given an update. Sky Germany claims Celtic are battling Eintracht Frankfurt to sign the defender, if Schalke did not sign him. Now, Schalke have confirmed with a post on social media that they will not be signing Itakura permanently. Leeds United are looking to beat Manchester City and Tottenham Hotspur to the signing of Celtic youngster Rory Mardy. The Scotland under-17 cap is wanted by the English Premier League trio. Leeds have been long-term admirers of the youngster, who is rated as one of the best young keepers in Britain, but Spurs and City have also now come into the equation. Celtic are keen to keep the youngster but face a fight to keep a hold of him. Nibitan is reportedly in talks to join Maccabi Tel Aviv after leaving Celtic. The Israeli midfielder, who can also play at the back, left Paradise after nine successful seasons in the hoops. With another baby on the way, Bitten decided with his wife that a return to Israel would be best for their family and it is likely they will not be short on offers. According to Israeli outlet Walla, the Europa Conference League side are in talks to sign the 30-year-old. The player made 270 appearances for Celtic with 38 coming this season. His performances from his natural holding position were praised as many questioned why he was ever moved to defence in the first place. The BBC poll relied heavily on previous European Cup winners with Jock Stein's side breaking the Southern European stranglehold when they beat Inter Milan 2-1 in the 1967 final. Liverpool, Manchester United, Barcelona and Real Madrid all had teams nominated in the poll but despite a Scottish winner BBC Scotland have kept the result away from their website pages. The poll closed at 5pm, since then BBC Scotland has reported on the new contract for Steve Davis, alongside features relating to the Scotland, v Ukraine match tomorrow night. Leading the way on the homepage is the Craig Levain, column which will be of limited interest. In terms of international football his legacy will be fielding a Scotland side without a forward for a match against the Czech Republic. Both the Daily Record and Scottish Sun have reported on the latest award for the Lisbon Lions, but for whatever reason BBC Scotland have opted out of reporting on an in-house poll. Once again top of the league. And on that note have a great day Celtic fans. Let roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party, roll up to the party, roll up.